Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. I'm very excited for this video. We're going to go deep into the crypt today and discover what is it all about. And if it's as good as I think it is and if it's going to save MK Mobile or not. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure in this video. The crypt, how it works. Enter. Use up to two free daily attempts to brave the crypt. Additional attempts require crypt keys. Traverse the hidden paths of the each floor illiterate with the treasures and dangers to find the exit open chests to find consumables to aid your team collect shatter tombstones uh, to collect crypt cards which can be used in the crypt store defeat boss on the final floor to escape with your collected crypt heads spend crypt hearts to acquire exciting characters equipment and more crypt hearts automatically convert to crypt keys after the current event concludes so you have to spend all of your crypt hearts each event you cannot save them for the next event okay okay oh my god and i just noticed something mk mobile finally got full screen my god it's full screen right now wait was it full screen oh my god it's full screen in the entire game it was like before it wasn't full screen so now i have to do this i have to do some adjustments oh my god i can't believe this it's finally full screen <laughs> let's go sorry that was okay the crypt store let's take a look at the crypt store Ooh, so it's actually so there is a selection so i have six days and 15 hours if i don't spend my current hearts they're going to be converted into the keys and each heart like it takes five thousand hearts per key so i can get lizard baraka wait does it mean we can actually get new pay to win characters in here and also, I'm curious if, uh, li like, if you can pay, uh, li like, if everybody gets the same character selection. This is amazing. The only thing, you have to choose which character you want to invest into each selection. So, in this selection, I would probably go for Circle of Shadow Liu King or Lizard Baraka. Depends on how many points I get. Honestly, I don't see the point of going for gold cards. Because diamonds are going to be always better. Just pick the best diamond in the list and go for him. Okay, let's see how much you can get per crypt. So, I don't think I'm going to go for easy difficulty. That seems a little bit too easy. Uh, let's go for the normal one. Um, I mean, hard one. This one, gold and diamond characters only. I think I should be able to beat it, right? Right? I, I, I might regret this. Okay, fine. Let's let's build a team. I don't even know what's going to be a good team for this. I mean, this is... I know for sure that my team right now is a good team, but I think I can do better. Okay, let me build a team. See, the problem here is if I face any MK11 teams with MK11 Jade, I'm going to suffer with that Reap Dial. But it's, it's my strongest diamond, and he's amazing. So I think I'm going to have to go for him. And he gives me point boost. Ah, tough decisions. I can't use anybody else because they suck. I guess I could use Classic Raiden, actually. So what if I use Classic Raiden, Classic Reptile, and Classic Liu Kang? Is this a good team? I kind of I kind of want to use Classic Liu Kang because there's nobody else in there. But maybe I should... Hmm. You know what? Let's just give it a try. W what's the worst thing that can happen? All right, this is my, this is my gear. I guess... I guess this team is going to have to do for my first ever run in uh, hard difficulty of Crypt. Let's enter. I'm excited. Once you enter, you won't be able to edit the difficulty of the team. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're inside. Oh, fascinating. All right, let's keep going, I guess. Uh... I can escape, we can look... Okay, so let's see, if I click escape... You... Oh, you will lose 15%. Oh, okay. When they said a fraction, I thought you would get to keep around 15%. But we only lose 15%, so it's not too bad. Alright, let's get moving. This is a boss. Okay, let's do our first fight, I guess. Okay, this team doesn't look too bad. I think we should be able to punish them pretty easily berserkers <laughs> oh this is fun i can't believe i'm excited uh, about the the, the the new mode in, in mk mobile
All right, let's set her on. on uh, let, let's bleed her. So I need to be very careful with my health. I, I should try not to lose any health. Actually, I think survival teams in here would be really powerful. Like, for example, something that... Something that would be powerful in survival. Like something that can give you lots of healing. That would be very OP in here, I think. So maybe this is... My, my team is not the best, because... I need, like, classic Melina, I have a feeling, is going to be OP here. R Revenous Melina, stuff with healing, like, for example... Uh, I mean, classic looking should be fine. Uh, Circle of Shadow team with vampirism. I think on my main account, I'm gonna. So the next video I'm gonna release is gonna be crypt on my main account, and I'm gonna try the elder difficulty, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so we just got three of these hearts. Shatter. Okay, we got the thing. So we're getting how much? Fifteen of these. Open the chest. We got a small... So, okay, okay he, it heals one character by 25%. Okay, that's not bad. Especially considering we get those for free. Okay, we got a, another fight here. <laughs> Crypt battle. Okay, this one doesn't look bad. There's no modifier either. Okay, we should dominate this one pretty easily. Also, you can heal using adds, it looks like. A couple times. Or one time, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, I think I'm, I might be able to complete this difficulty. I'm, I'm not gonna get too confident. Oh boy. But I think so. Wait, how the hell did he take me out? What? Oh yeah, the game definitely feels different. Like, it does feel a little bit more zoomed out, but it might be because my aspect resolution changed a little bit, actually. Maybe that's the... Maybe that's why. Ooh, we got shield though. We got shield though, baby. I wish we had some support card like survival of the fittest, but that would work in this mode. That would be awesome. All right, let's go. Well done. I like the new animations. Is there? Oh, there's a chest and I can s oh, he can spend coins! <laughs> I'm crying from joy. Finally, coins are useful. And you get small life stone with coins. This is amazing, not gonna lie. Let's shatter this. Let's get some more of these nice little thingies. So it looks like there is no like uh, n no such thing as energy or how many moves you can do so you can technically explore every single square in here right <laughs> all right another boss so i could go back and just go to every single turn it looks like so i like this i like this it's fair it's very fair in disney mirrorverse you are limited how many moves you can make so this is definitely a good change that i like But also in Disney Mirrorverse, you don't lose anything if you decide to quit before finishing. Sup, Sonya, baby. But honestly, choosing the difficulty that you're not sure you can complete, it's gonna be wasteful because, like, for example, if you're not confident that you will 100% beat Elder Difficulty, you're just gonna lose it. I mean, if it's 15%, you, you have to, we have to compare what are the rewards for each difficulty and like at what point it's worth it to go for a higher difficulty, even if you're gonna lose 15%. Okay, we're getting a lot of these consumables. I like it. Go to the next floor. You won't be able to go back up to defeating him. Okay, let's stay for now. Let's let's keep exploring. Wait, what? There's two bosses? Okay, I guess we're going back. Let's try this way. Let's shatter it. 15, okay. Free chest. 
Nice. Okay, I, I'm I'm loving this. This is what I wanted. This, I, this is what I wanted in this game. So far, I'm enjoying it tremendously. Yeah, on my main account, I'm going to be making so much more points. But there's no characters there that I need, though, so that's the problem. So you can literally explore everywhere. Okay, let's do a boss fight, whatever. One per run, four per day. Wait, so how can you even have four runs per day if you only have two? Oh, you can use keys, I guess. Okay, makes sense. This mode is very time consuming though. Imagine doing two of those. You cannot you cannot do them on auto. Because you can't afford to lose health. It's not just about winning and you don't have unlimited tries. You just lose the entire run if you lose one battle accidentally. So this is going to be a huge time investment for this mode. A huge time investment. Nice job, my boy. Now die. Ah! <clears throat> Oh my god, and I can see how long my shield is gonna last. Feel my bite. And in the open field glitch is fixed. I, I, I don't have a single bad thing to say about this update so far. And I love it. Shatter for 2,000 coins. I, 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 for sure. Take my coins game. I, why would I need coins? <laughs> You're silly. You're so silly. Alright, let's keep going this way. Let's beat the boss. It takes a while to explore the entire thing, but this is not too bad. Like, for hard difficulty, you could do this with gold teams. You don't have, like, powerful diamond team to do this, it feels like. I don't know how the main boss is... Wait, this is only first floor, right? So is it the whole crypt, or is it, or is there going to be another floor? I guess we're going to find out soon enough. Let, let me beat this fight. I'm not even going to show it, because the video is going to be way too long, and it's going to be an easy fight anyway. All right, we're at 125 right now. Let's open this. I can finally spend all my coins. My God, <laughs> I'm in love. Two of the large hellstones. I'll take that. So you probably want to make sure you get every single square in here. Unless you're like out of health and you don't want to fight. Okay, I don't need to fight this guy, to be honest. I can just go around him, so it will save me some time. This is going to cost me coins, which I'm totally fine with. So basically, the amount of, uh, of hearts you get depends on how many coins you're using. So that's fine. This is going to be 25. Plus 95 bonus, so I'm at around 300 right now from one run. And there's unlimited tries. And I love the sound of footsteps. Okay, there's nothing here. So you don't have to fight everybody to uh, explore everything. You just need to be smart about how you move around. And I like how it's procedurally generated. So it's like, it's, it's going to be different every time. Which is amazing! I might attempt Elder Difficulty on my beginner account. And in some video. I might. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure I can handle it. Ooh, my Raiden just got wrecked. No! Don't kill me! Yeah, Varmin's like he had his OP. My shield just protects me from so much damage, it's crazy. Alright, I think I explored the whole thing. Let's go. Uh, I think we can start moving to the exit now. Okay, let's get a few more. More eyes. Beautiful. Let's go back. Pretty sure we're done here, I think. So I guess we're going to fight the main boss and go to the next floor. But what the next floor means... 
Ooh, this is like a boss fight. There are bosses. Timed and dot immunity. Oh, so the my Raiden or Reptile actually not gonna do nothing. Okay, so now I know that there is boss fight in the end that are actual bosses. So maybe dots is not gonna be the most effective strategy or classic Raiden. But I hope it's not strong enough to not be able to complete it. I think, yeah, without dots, this team is gonna be very tough. Plus that Liu Kang, I hope he doesn't have any gear to heal himself. That would be very bad. This kind of sucks that you have to use the same team for bosses and for regular fights. Because it makes it a little bit more difficult. And out of all the bosses uh, that I'm assuming are random, I, 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 I got lucky enough to get Fire God Liu Kang. By lucky, I mean not lucky. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what's gonna happen. Is it the end of the crypt? I hope it is, because if, if I get two tries and each crypt is gonna be multiple floors, that's gonna take like a billion hours every day. Impressive. That's gonna be insane. Wait, what? Do you get a gold coin? For beating a boss? Don't mind if I do? Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's three floors. It says right here. I'm, I'm blind. Okay. Wow, this is gonna be a ginormous health sink. I mean, ginormous time sink. <laughs> Holy crap, and the guys are getting stronger in each floor. I might actually have to escape, guys. <laughs> but it's fine. You just do until you die. Maybe actually farming Elder difficulty and just dying on the first floor is gonna, is gonna be more crystals. So we're gonna have to explore and see. Lots of lots of ways to learn. Oh yeah, I might not be able to beat the next floor. I can already feel this. I think this is gonna be my last floor, to be honest. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my godness. What is this? What did I do to deserve such a terrible team to fight? Okay, this Terminator is being nasty to me. I don't like it. Impressive. Come on, can we put death mark on him? I don't want I don't want to deal with this. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, he takes out. Of course he does. Why did I think it wasn't going to happen? I don't know. So I guess people will have a choice, since we have two free tries per day, they will have a choice to do, like, to go for really high difficulty and just make shorter runs if they don't have a lot of time. That's probably going to be better, uh, like, time, more time efficient to do Elder difficulty, for example, and just die maybe uh, on the second floor and just keep 85% of your points instead of doing, for example, two full runs of hard where you're going to spend way more time and gonna get about the same amounts of uh, of ice. Four stone. Okay, so these things you you drop them a lot. Like you get a lot of these things. Okay, we're gonna fight. Oh god. Yeah, you can see my character starting to heal damage now, but I can still use one add heal, which is good. But I also have so many consumables. Like you could probably use all the consumables you get through your run in your run because you're going to be getting so many of them from all the runs i think it's worth it using them like there's no point to hoard them so i'm definitely going to use some healing stones after i get a little bit lower health like being able to see how long death mark lasts like that's probably the biggest game changer because before you were praying that it's not going to expire before you finish the enemy oh god wait what Okay, this is kind of creepy. You actually have to check your uh, opponent's gear because something like that can happen and it's going to be very unexpected. So they can have tower gear, which is a little bit annoying, not going to lie. But so far the battles were pretty easy. I, I can't even tell if they're getting harder from the first floor or not. I guess it's just it's just long, that's all. But I would, I would assume like one run of the hard difficulty uh, crypt run is going to take like at least 30 minutes. At least. Probably even longer. 
This one is huge. Like, this floor is so much bigger than the other one. I'll have to go back to, to see, like, everything that's in here. I've missed so many turns. It's insane. Ooh, this is blue one. Oh, wait. I already saw blue ones. Revive stone for free. That's not bad. Wow, 4,000 coins to shatter this. Not bad. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. But it's, this floor is even bigger than the other one. Like, I, I don't know. This is way too big in my opinion. Why, why, why do they have to be so big? All right, I'm back. Uh, we're gonna exit floor two. Yeah, let's go to the final floor. My god, this took forever. I'm at 30 minutes already inside this dungeon. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use an item. I'm gonna use small, uh, small health, health stone. What does this do again? Heal selective a light character by 25%. Yeah, th I I'm gonna use this item. I'm gonna use it twice. Because why not? Raiden is the one that's getting all the beating currently. Uh, wow, this is a K11 team with Shang Tsung. And off balance. Are you serious? Oh, this one is gonna... Uh, there is a high chance we're gonna lose this one. I should have used the four stone to get more damage. This I'm not I, I don't feel good about this. There's no way this is random team. They have insane synergy. They have insane synergy. I'm gonna get wrecked right now so hard. I have no chance. I have no chance. Oh! Well, they don't have that much health actually. So I might actually have a chance. Yeah, actually we're fine. <laughs> I thought for a second it was going to be difficult for some reason. And they don't have block breaker gear. At least if, if the, the gear is truly random, then they should not have block breaker gear every time. It should be random. So it, most of the time they shouldn't have any block breaker gear. Ooh, this is bad. We got snared. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. My reptile might go bye bye. Oh wait, snare doesn't matter because it's random tagging, and the game just helped me to intercept this fool. I mean, to uh, to cripple this fool. Well, I can't say no to that. I can't say no to that. Okay, second floor is done. Let's see what awaits us on the third floor. If it's gonna be even bigger, we're gonna have a problem. I can't I can't afford to to spend two hours every day on all of my accounts to grind this. So I'm gonna have to find a compromise because like it's fun at all, but I, I don't have four hours every day to grind MK Mobile. I'm sorry. Plus towers. Oh god. Alright, floor three. Okay, this is gonna be very difficult. I can I can already feel it. Oh my god. This is crazy. This takes so long. Like, super fun mode. Love everything about it, except the fact how long it takes to complete. I feel like they should make it, I don't know, maybe make it one try a day, but double all the rewards. That would, that would be even better. Oh boy. Final boss of the crypt, hard difficulty. To be fair, hard difficulty wasn't hard at all. I didn't even have to use any consumables. Just once... For Raiden, like, two, two he regular healing potions. But I got, like, 30 or 40 of them in total. This battle might prove difficult. Oh, wow, 248,000. I should have used the strength stuff. I should have, I should have definitely... Oh, God, Sindo is gonna wreck me apart. She is gonna make me... Absolutely destroyed. Bad! Bad! Stop snaring me! You're bad! That's who you are. You're a bad girl. But I'm gonna kill you. Woo! One down! 
Not bad. Okay, yeah, this is not very difficult, to be honest. If we're being honest, like, hard difficulty you can easily do as a free-to-play with, like, Fusion 3, Fusion 4 Diamonds, and maybe maxed gold cards. And, like, regular gear. Shouldn't be a problem. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. Okay, if I could take out, it would be so helpful, though. Ah, we lost Liu Kang. Okay, still might be in trouble, to be honest. Still might be in trouble. Oh my god, poison is healing him! They're supposed to be dot immune! How did he get poisoned? No! My classic reptile is gonna cost me the whole run! I don't want the po- Oh god, the healing from dots. I don't get it. What happened to dot immunity? You know what? I'm actually gonna go for it because I need to kill her. I know she's healing from this poison. But I need to kill her, my god. Okay, thank god. We're good. Okay, th this final boss fight is definitely a little bit challenging, not gonna lie. Pretty damn challenging. But not impossible. Alright guys, what do you think? Let's see what we get. So... From the regular, from the hard difficulty, I pretty much collected a absolutely every single node on the map. And this is what I got. 14 small stone, uh, the f uh, small life stone, revive stone, large health stone, bunch of stuff. And a thousand and 100 points. Okay, the characters are fatigued. How long? You can wait for the daily reset to use them again. So you can use them once a day. So you need two good teams per day, basically. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So it actually shows you how much reward you get. From 864 to 1602. And I need basically 7 10,000 to buy something. Yeah, I don't need any of these cards on my main account. So is there a point for me to grind? Okay, I do need Lizard Baraka, I guess. Oh, wait, there's equipment also. Oh, crap, I forgot there is equipment. So you can buy the new gear, okay. And you can probably max him out, hopefully. There is this script consumable pack, so you can buy this with souls. Interesting. Special offer... $20, $5. I don't think it's worth it, guys. The keys? You don't need the keys. You're gonna spend hours every day to just using your free tries. And the consumables, they drop like cakes from everywhere. I don't think any of these are worth it whatsoever. Holy balls. Why? Why would you buy keys? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever buy keys. I just, I'm just getting way too much, uh, too much of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed crypts. So elder difficulty is going to give me from 1100 to 2000. Okay, this is not that much more. That is not that much more. So it might not be a big loss. And this one doesn't give you much less. Maybe I should just grind. Maybe I should just grind the normal difficulty. And instead, just do b battles on auto and make my life easier. Maybe that's the that's the way. I'm going to figure this out and let you know in one of the next videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And take care.